Today's word of the day comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 23. Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 23. And it says, whoever guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul from troubles. Amen. Whoever guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul from troubles. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Because when things come out of our mouths that we probably wish we hadn't said, it causes trouble in our soul. When things come out of our mouths we wish didn't, all of a sudden we don't have peace. And let's look, learn a little more about this subject today. In James chapter 3, verses 6 through 10, it says, And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile or in creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in the similitude of God, in other words, in his image. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Amen. Jesus said in Matthew 15, verses 10 and 11, when he called the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear and understand. Not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. A man. And he moves on to say in verse 17 through 19, Do you not yet understand that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and is eliminated? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart, and they defile a man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, and blasphemies. Amen. So we have this word today. It says, whoever guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul from troubles. And so then we naturally want to cause ourselves not to say things that we're going to regret. And yet the truth is, just like the word told us, who can tame the tongue? None of us can tame our tongue. As much as we would like to, it's simply not possible. Because God uses our tongue to reveal what's in our hearts. And the bottom line is God knows it's there. God's going to let us see it by having it come out of our mouths. And then when we have trouble in our soul is when we come to God and we confess what he has shown us that we now see in our hearts. The unforgiveness, the uh, judgment, the slander, the, the bitterness, and all the things uh, that, come, that are already in us, they come out of our mouths. And what he wants from us is to, um, to confess so that he can take it out of us. And then our mouths, our tongue, what proceeds from our tongue are the fruit of the spirit, the word of God, and we become more like him. We can try as we want. It's just not going to happen. But when it does come out, understand that God is revealing something in our heart that he wants to remove from us so he can make us holy and more like himself. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. Help us not try on our own, but help us truly seek you and ask you to get rid of all the things that would defile us in our hearts so that it would never come out of our mouths and we would not hurt others or even our own souls because of it. So we thank you that you, you have already done it all on the cross and you're just cleaning us up. But help us, Lord, help us. Get all that stuff out of us so that we can be at peace and rest in you. And we thank you for your sacrifice and your blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day. Amen.